Next up is the camel sphere at around. It's got a hump on it. <laughs> I am Tyler False. I'm a nuclear engineer with a little over 10 years of experience in the commercial nuclear power industry, from engineering to operations to emergency response. I don't claim to know everything there is nuclear, but I can certainly share some knowledge. Today we're going to be looking at another one of Sam Monella's videos called Literal Animal Planets. <laughs> Just sounds goofy. <laughs> this was recommended to me in the comments. Again, I appreciate the uh, recommendations. Let's take a look. Hey kids, it's Wildlife Wednesday. So today, I decided to make some animal planets. No, not that animal planet. What I mean is, if you took every member of a certain group of animals and just, like, rolled them into a single ball in space, how big would that sphere be? And I got some interesting answers, but before I show you my findings, I'll quickly go over oh, my process. Oh, that's a mess. So first, I found the full population of a given creature or set of creatures. Uh -huh. Then I would take the average weight of that creature and multiply the two together to get the total mass of that creature on Earth. To go from mass to Love volume, it. however, you still need the density of whatever you're measuring. Fortunately, the density of all animals is quite similar, partly water. due to the fact that the vast majority of creatures are at least 70% water by weight. Mm -hmm. Couple that with the fact that the ratio of fat, <laughs> muscle, and bone or exoskeleton in all creatures is at least vaguely similar, and we can estimate the That's density of all animals to be around the same. Water is Keeps exactly one kilogram per liter, and then I'm throwing in a plus or minus 0.1 as a rounding error for the other material involved. As such, the values at play here are going to have two significant figures at most. I've included a link in the description to a spreadsheet with all my data and calculations. <laughs> Quick disclaimer before we get started, a lot of this is based on estimation, particularly sure. in the case of animal population. It's actually quite difficult to get a definitive count of a given animal on Earth, so all of the following is simply based on science's best guesses. Also, this is by no means a comprehensive list, it's just those that I could find the most reliable data on. One more clarification, the amount of specificity I give <laughs> is the amount I apply to a given sphere, right? So whereas a blue whale sphere is just that one species, an ant sphere would cover all types of ants. That being said, let's roll. This is an interesting idea. It's very, this very high level back of the envelope math. Engineers, nuclear engineers in particular, do this sort of thing all the time. And we all do it very uh, conservatively. Um, another name for it is radcon math or radiation contamination. Um, it is, it involves just high level estimates, super overestimates. We're talking like, 1 plus 1 equals 100, just to be sure, kind of uh, back-of-the-envelope calculations, just so we can make sure. It's like, all right, it's not about being accurate. It's about being close enough just that even under your ridiculous um, assumptions, you're going to make it okay. And I, I like seeing someone else do this. this. This is great. First up is the blue whale sphere, <laughs> although they are freaking gigantic. There is only like 10,000 of them on Earth. So the sphere only came out to around 140 meters in diameter. That's about the same height as the Great Pyramid. A bit larger than that is the Elephant Sphere, which the came colors. out to around 170 <laughs> meters. Next up is the Domesticated Cat Sphere at around 180. That's only slightly smaller than the Roman Colosseum, which was 190 in diameter. Next up is the Camel Sphere at around it's got a hump on it. <laughs> meters. Slightly larger was the Domesticated Dog Sphere at 280. Then the chicken sphere at 3.30. There is a joke around the spherical chicken or the spherical cow. I think I've heard both jokes. But the joke is that the uh, farmer is concerned about egg production. So he has a theoretical physics or, or a theoretical physicist come over to investigate the issue. The theoretical physicist comes up with a solution, but he says... It will only work if the chickens are spherical and it takes place in a vacuum to increase egg production. <laughs> Basically, all of the crazy assumptions you make just to create a simplistic mathematical model for a layperson to utilize. And I love it. It's this, I don't know if that's what inspired Sam to make this video, but uh, he made a couple of references here already, and I greatly appreciate it. The horse sphere is at 370 <laughs> meters in diameter. Larger than that was the ant sphere, a lot of ants, which came down tiny. to around 420 meters. 
I almost didn't include this one as it is very difficult to find a definitive answer on ant populations. All those yeah. sources I found differed by like an order of magnitude or two, so I just averaged them out. Anyway, That's though, fair. imagine like... By the way, the nuclear engineer wouldn't average them out. You would take like the maximum one and round it up. So I don't know if that'd give you 4,000 meters or what, but <laughs> that's something. Falling back first into this thing and just having Ugh. all the little minuscule creatures just consume you into their mass. Feeling itchy yet? You should. <laughs> anyway, this ball was just shy of the Empire State Building, which stood at 440. What was that? Oh, nice, because 420 reference. Gotcha. And it's green. Next up is the Sheep Sphere, which got up there's to lot 650. Close to that is the Vatican City, which <laughs> is Vatican 663 City. meters across. That means the Vatican is just big enough to hold all the sheep in the world. If that's not a metaphor, I don't know what is. Near the top <laughs> of our list is the Antarctic Ooh. Krill Planet, which reached about 950 meters. The People Planet was just a smidge larger at 960. Interestingly enough, despite the yeah. fact that there are 7.4 billion people in the sphere, it would only take 585 of them stacked toe to head to reach the height of the sphere. That reminds me of one of those crazy SCP scenarios. I don't remember the number off the top of my head. If you do, let me know in the comments. Anyway, though, you'd think the human planet would be the largest since for our size we're so disproportionately represented on Earth. However, our largest planet is actually due as a result of our giant population, as well as our voracious appetite. The cow yes, planet you see the spherical is at a cows. diameter of about 1.2 yes. kilometers. That's around two-thirds of the length of the Brooklyn Bridge. So wow. all this time, you humans thought you ruled the Earth, when in fact, we are merely the servants to our cow overlords. <laughs> I'm Sam Anella, and thank you for watching. That's fascinating. They all seem very small when you actually think of all the animals in the world, but you're packing them all together and... You're dealing with, you know, something in three dimensions here that's just, you know, as, as tall as it is wide. So, yeah, you can, the thing can certainly build up in mass very, very quickly. But that was a fascinating thought experiment. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.